Can you open this? Keep a lookout. Got it. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters right on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> oh, ow. Okay, I bust you out of the tower and that's the things I get. Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You, Fitzroy? 
Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Cause it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. Just pick up my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Pick up no. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. Before she lights out of here. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? Do your job, it's your Saw that scrawny little thing prowling around here with the passage out. She could use a bill, that one. Ah. Get out of here, snipe. You want to know what we do to pretty little snowways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for a minute! Stay away! God damn it, it just had to stop right in front. I just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Ugh. Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold stay up for away. a minute! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one Wait, such as you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! Well, that's not good. There's gotta be another way in. Get 
to follow me, Mr. Twit. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes, I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt, and a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. Dewey. No, son of you are a means to an end. With no more. Place here at Fink Industries. But I tell you, there's a purpose for all. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? I got an idea. Illegal. Let's look for another way. this got it over there a service elevator it should take us down to Finkton and get ourselves killed in the bargain <laughs> Diary. Nowadays, Why would Slate compensation? Husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Second, guys. Push button. Greetings. 
My name is Jeremiah Fink, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Your sleeve's cut. Well, the man's got an ego. designed specifically for the Fink Worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss. But Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss. But any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. Fink Manufacturing to Shantytown. Starting bid. 20 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes now bid 14. We give me 14. Ten. Ten minutes bid, now ten, we give me nine. Nine, I nine bid nine. Nine minutes bid, now nine, nine. we give me eight. Nine minutes bid, now nine. Eight. Eight. Here it is, book. Chen Lin, gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Oh my God. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Excuse me. Now, I'm sorry to bother you. I... 
We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker will find it. <laughs> Just leave her be. Why not Fox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> the flying squad. Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Okay. Alright, that's all the time we got for this episode. Till the next time, guys. Bye!